This is Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell on the Forge Audio Network. Forge fans, welcome to the very first episode of Forge Daily. Today is May 8th, 2023. I am your host, Mackenzie Barwell, here to give you all things Forge. This is exciting. This is my first podcast. Uh, Still working on the podcaster voice, so bear with me. You can expect a new episode every single weekday, excluding game days. So consider this your newest form of entertainment, whether you're stuck in traffic, on the way home from work, or just need something to throw on in the background. This series will help keep you up to speed on everything going on with Forge players, coaches, and the organization. So I've got a great show planned for you today, recapping some key moments of last Friday's matchup against York, then getting into Forge's quick transition into tomorrow's matchup against Atletico Ottawa for the Canadian Championship quarterfinal round. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. This past Friday, Forge headed down the QEW to face York United in the rivalry some of you may be familiar with as the 905 Derby. Both teams going into that match off their first win of the season, so it was a heated affair to say the least. I was there in person, both York and Forge battling it out until that final whistle. Um, A total of seven yellow cards handed out between both teams, and then one red toward the end of the match for Ashton Morgan. Ultimately, Forge picking up their second Canadian Premier League campaign win in a 1-0 victory. Forge now sits first place in the CPL with a total of eight points, uh, leading the league in five goals for, as well as two clean sheets, which actually leads me to my next point. Tristan Henry, a noteworthy performance. Um, He registered three saves, including two game-saving plays. If I don't say so myself, he's now accumulated 44 clean sheets in all competitions with Forge FC. Now let me tell you, you didn't have to really be paying attention to know that Tristan Henry had an unbelievable game because fans were chanting, oh Henry, so every time I maybe missed a play, I could just hear it like surround sound. (laughs) That's how many Forge fans were actually at the York Stadium, and we'll get to that later, but overall just a great performance by Henry. Taryn Campbell went home with the lone goal of the match. For those of you who missed it, in the 21st minute, that was off an assist from Wubens Pasillas. Uh, It was just a well-struck, left-footed attempt outside the 18-yard box. I spoke to Campbell and asked what it was like from his perspective. Here's what he said. Yeah, so I took the ball down from Manny. He played a long ball to me, and I laid the ball off to Woobs, and I saw some space at the top of the box, and I hit the ball first time, and it went into the back of the net. And It was a good goal for me because uh, last season didn't get as many as I'd like, and uh, also just contributing to the team, so it was good to get a goal under my belt early. That was the winner of Gatorade's performance of the match. Now, I also spoke to Campbell and Bobby about what it meant for the fans to come show their support at an away game because, wow, was there a lot of orange. Not only that, but there was so much cheering, especially in that 90th minute when Kadeem Kane made his professional debut on a substitute at just 17 years old. It was amazing being in the stands and uh, submersed into that environment with definitely some of the most loyal and proud fans in the league. Here's what they said it's like having such a dedicated fan base show their support at an away game and what kind of element that brings to Forge's level of play. Yeah, it's always good to get um, support from your fans when they come out to away games. You know, it kind of gives us that extra motivation to put on a show. They have like, it'll be like our 12th man on the field sort of, so it gives us a lot of more energy and motivation to push for a win. Yeah, it's always excellent when we're playing at York and, you know, half the fans in the stands are from uh, from Hamilton or Forge supporters. You know, it's obviously a game that's close to home and it makes it even closer to home and I think it gives the players an, an excellent feeling. You know, any time, whether it's uh, it's five or 500 on the, uh, on the away games, uh, we're always looking for those orange shirts and they give us a little bit extra motivation. Moving on, tomorrow Forge set to host Atletico Ottawa back at home in the Canadian Championship quarterfinal round. It'll be the first time the two clubs face off since Forge defeated Ottawa in the 2022 CPL Finals. It's an important game, the winner advancing to the semi-final round, playing either Toronto FC or CF Montreal. Forge appropriately ended training today with a penalty shootout, so they are prepped and ready for whatever outcome they may expect tomorrow. Coach Bobby Smirniotis has said a few times now that the Canadian Championship is definitely one of Forge's big goals for the year. 
I spoke to him, and here's what he had to say on the importance of the Canadian Championship and how the team approaches sort of multitasking their goals within the regular season, but also looking to become the first CPL team to win the Can Champs. Yeah, obviously it's a congested week uh, with the three games, the one on Friday, uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday, and then looking ahead to Saturday. you got to take each one individually as, as they come. Cup, cup competitions are special in their own right. Uh, we know it's it's four games to, to lift a trophy, so it's uh, 90 minutes uh, at a time and, and being at your best. You know, it's not the marathon of 28 games uh, plus playoffs. So it's a little bit of a different uh, mindset goes into that, just making sure we're sharp right off uh, the bat. And I think the guys know that. You know, they've been in a lot of these games in the past, and tomorrow night's another one. All right, that will be all for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see all of you here tomorrow at Tim Hortons Field as Forge FC take on Atletico Ottawa. Stay tuned for more daily episodes, and we will talk to you soon. This has been Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell. If you like what you heard, please like, follow, subscribe, comment, and share. 